Rishi Sunak, this is your local railway station. Yes, it is, London Waterloo. It's about a 10 minute walk from Downing Street. And normally it is the busiest train station, not just in the UK, but the busiest transport terminal in Europe. Not today, because there is another strike by train drivers belonging to the Aslef Union, their 15th since this long and bitter dispute began in the summer of 2022. Yes, I know that your line is train drivers are being offered an increase from 60 to 60,000 pounds, 65,000 pounds a year for a four day week. But in order to do that, they've got to accept that they are going to have to change their terms and conditions. As you will know, Mick Whelan, the General Secretary of ASLEF, says, you're joking, you're trying to get us to take a 20% pay cut and rip up all our terms and conditions. There is a way forward, but there are no talks happening. Meanwhile, you are in Manchester, announcing the cancellation of trains from that great city, to Birmingham and the South. Not just today, but for the future. Yes, all those high speed expresses that we have been promised for the last 13 years are not now going to be running from Manchester. And you are a very smart man. You know that this is nothing to do with getting from Birmingham to London 20 minutes quicker. High Speed 2 is all about getting those passenger trains travelling at express speeds onto a dedicated network to free up capacity on the Victorian infrastructure to allow more freight, more local trains, more regional trains to run. But instead, you are going to say, we're not going to do this because you believe it's going to be a popular thing. Furthermore, you can offer your MPs some crumbs of improvements with their local rail networks, maybe the odd bypass here and there, maybe some improved buses, but nothing like an, a proper coherent transport strategy. It is, I'm afraid, to your enduring shame that you have decided to rip up the rail future of the UK for short-term political advantage.